Hello and welcome to your Vedic Lunar Scope for the 22nd of April 2015. The moon today in the Nakshatra or lunar mansion of Mrigashira. Let's talk a little bit about Mrigashira today. Uh, the Mrigashira energy is that of seeking fulfillment feeling a uh, desire or a stirring within. Although it's not really a harsh energy, it's more of a soft, gentle energy. But as Mrigashira is ruled by Mars, all the nakshatras that are ruled by Mars always tend to have a hint of dissatisfaction associated with them. So there's a pining that's connected with um, Rigashira that makes the individual seek fulfillment and extend themselves so that they can thereby find uh, the object of their desire within the um, external world. And overall, with the energy of today, well, there's an excitement about the future, um, an idea of where things are heading and feeling the stirring of wanting to really uh, set things in motion towards that distant or perhaps even not so distant goal. But there's still a certain amount of vigilance that has to be practiced in regards to the situation because old behavioral patterns are still there and it can be all too easy to uh, fall back into those old ways of acting and reacting. There have been some very powerful changes going on recently. We've had a harmonious angle between Mars and Pluto yesterday that's really creating a lot of change and uh, really setting some wheels in motion. And you're probably beginning to feel the uh, first hints of that and where that's heading. But there's been something that you've been having to leave behind in order to move ahead. And it's that thing that you've had to leave behind, whether it's a behavior pattern, whether it's a person, well, there's still a certain amount of attachment that's connected to that, and you've let yet to uh, really let go um, in association with that. And there's still some business that you might have to finish up in that regard. Um, and it's time today to keep your mind vigilant on where things are going, not necessarily where things were. Um, supporting the moon, as the moon is in Brigashira, which is ruled by Mars. Mars is in Barani, which is ruled by uh, Venus. But we're going to touch more on the conjunction between Mars and Mercury. So if you set your mind very powerfully towards where things are going, and I'm not usually one to, to get people to focus on the future, but actually in this particular instance, I think it's very helpful to focus on the future rather than just staying in the present moment. Um, well, we can only experience the future through the present moment. I should perhaps add that. But looking ahead in the present moment to where things are going, rather than looking behind you, right? Just pay a deep sense of gratitude to what has been before uh, and all that it has meant to your life, but release it and let it go. Now, the uh, titi that the moon is in today is Shukla Panchami and watch the moon reaches Panchami, then the moon begins to gain some strength. So the moon is gaining its light and its ability to reflect the light of the sun. The Tithi is going to show um, how the individual is going to feel about it. And there's a certain hint of, you know, good feelings, feeling like things are moving in a very positive direction that's associated with this particular Tithi. And also, I should touch on the uh, yoga for today, which is the conjunction well, it's calculated by the conjunction of the sun and the moon's degrees and plus uh, another calculation that's added in there. But we don't need to go into that. We just need to touch on what it means. And the yoga for today is Atiganda. And Atiganda is about flexibility. It's the type of flexibility where you're vigilant in the fact that you're having to endure a specific set of circumstances, but at the same time, you're allowing yourself to adapt to the moment. That's how today is really going to be held together. Um, when you get hit with those feelings of the uh, past or uh, going back into past, past behavioral patterns. Allow yourself to adapt in the moment rather than giving yourself a hard time, being too harsh on yourself, beating yourself up over it. Instead, just take it easy on yourself. Focus on where things are going, not where things have been. And that's what's really going to help you uh, today in the present moment in setting your course forwards. 
Of course, today's lunar scope can only touch on a very general uh, aspect of the day's energy. If you'd like to know a little bit more how the current astrological climate, and not just today's energy, is affecting you personally, I do offer a vast range of astrological services. And they're available through the link on this YouTube video, unless you've closed that already. And if you have, there's a link further down on the page in the description area. Person-to-person uh, -person consultations, video reports, written reports, all available through the Astrological Services page. And hey, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube page yet, please consider doing so so that you can receive regular updates every time there's a new video. That's going to do it for your Vedic Lunar Scope for today. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself.